Good morning. Uh, this is Pastor Jeff. I had a few people request that I started doing more of these little morning devotional videos, so I'm going to do my best to uh, start trying to do these more frequently. I apologize that I've kind of gotten away from it. Um, you can probably hear the music in the background. It's uh, Oceans by Hillsong United. Um, and it kind of goes along with what my topic is this morning. If you read in Matthew chapter 14, I'm not going to, you know, read word by word, but you, you know the story about when Jesus was going to meet the disciples on the other side of the water and, and, um, they, they saw him walking on water and first thing they became was frightened and Peter called out and, and said, if that's you, Lord, then, you know, call me out on the t to the water to come to you and of course Peter gets out and he starts walking everything's going fine and and then all of a sudden fear sets in when he looks around him and he sees the waves getting higher he sees the storms he sees uh, the dangers that that are surrounding him and he starts to sink cries out to the Lord the Lord lifts him up helps him back on the boat and then of course says you know questions his faith um, Look at your life today. This is what we do, unfortunately, as Christians all the time. We, uh, when everything's going good, it's, you know, we have no problem calling out to, to God and, and everything's fine. But unfortunately, this world is tough and this world is going to throw storms at us and every day it's a grind. Um, you know whether it's financial or marital or or um, you know whatever the situation is depression and anxiety and whatever's causing fear and doubt and and brokenness inside of you it's when we start to sink and I think it all comes down to is where our focus is um, you know, if you focus on these things, if you let these things consume you, if you let them control your thoughts, uh, I spoke recently about how your thoughts will eventually become your actions, your actions will eventually become habits, these habits will determine uh, your character, and then of course your character will ultimately lead to your destiny. So uh, it's all about where your thoughts are. If you're focused constantly on, am I going to make enough money to pay the mortgage or the power bill um, and you start to doubt that you're going to do it or you, your focus is on you know am I going to go through today without having an anxiety attack or you know uh, am I going to wake up depressed and stay depressed all day if that's what your focus is on then that's what's going to pull you down that's what's going to pull you underwater and cause you to sink if your focus is on Christ and allowing Christ to take these things and uh, take them upon him and carry th these burdens for you then it can begin to change you and fix you from within um, you know it took me many years and and uh, many people giving me great advice because of my arrogance um, as a as a Bible teacher you know my my struggle was always I wanted to fix people I still struggle with it. I mean, there's times that I feel like, you know, let me fix you, let me fix you. And it took a lot of God kind of kicking me around and, and reminding me that I don't fix people. He fixes people. All I do is is I'm a messenger of his and um, I guide people in the right direction. And that is to look to him to be repaired. So I've talked a lot lately in my sermons about emptying yourself and it's not to remain empty and I think that's a key and I'm going to talk about that this Wednesday night a little bit because I want to make sure there's not a misunderstanding it's it's not a emptying yourself and remaining empty because that void if you were if you if you keep the void inside of you if you keep the emptiness inside of you then eventually your focus of the storms around you, like Peter walking on the water, the things that scare you, the things that cause fear, that cause doubt, that cause depression, that that you're uncertain about, they're going to start to creep in 
and fill that void. And again, those it's going to consume your mind and that's all you're going to think about. And you're going to lose focus on what your purpose is in life. And your purpose in life should be to grow closer to Christ, grow closer to uh, building a relationship with Him and uh, with the Father. And uh, doing this is allowing the Holy Spirit to transform you from the inside. And what happens is you approach God with an empty cup or an empty heart uh, and let Him take on the anxieties, let Him take on the burdens, let Him take on the storms because He conquers the storms. And through Him, we'll conquer the storms, we'll conquer the anxieties, we'll conquer the depression, we'll overcome the doubts about paying the bills and things like this. But it's all because we allow Him to fill our cups. We allow Him to fill our hearts full of, of pure joy and, and uh, you know, pure confidence and, and love and, and all the wonderful things that, that Jesus brings. So this morning, my challenge to you is when you wake up and, and do whatever it is you do, first I you know, I pray that you wake up every morning and uh, you you go to the Lord in prayer and, and you talk to Him for at least a few minutes. And I can't imagine going a day without at least talking to Him for a few minutes and and letting Him lift my legs up uh, out of bed and, and get me moving in the right direction. But uh, change where your focus is. I think that's the key. Um, you know, again, Peter... When he was, when he had his eyes focused on Jesus, he probably didn't even realize he was walking on water. He just uh, was going to Jesus to let Jesus embrace him. Instead, when things got a little bit tough in his life, his focus shifted. And uh, so my challenge is, is don't do that. You know, today, whatever it is that's been causing you to have a brokenness in your in your soul, whatever's been causing you to uh, feel empty and void and you can't seem to fill that void um, today don't focus on that don't think about that instead if you start it starts to creep into your thoughts immediately go to God in prayer and say this you know this is yours I'm turning this over to you my job today is to serve you glorify you and everyone that <clears throat> excuse me I come in contact with I'm going to make sure that they see Christ in my life and that they see me walking on water. And not so that you can brag about, look at me, I'm the one that can overcome depression and, and fear and anxiety and all of these things. But instead, so that they, when they look at you and see you overcoming those things, they know that you're doing it because of Christ and that Christ is overcoming it through your life. And that's our purpose. Our purpose is to lead other people through to Christ through our growth in Christ. So, um, so today do that. Uh, whatever it is that's been burdening you, whatever it is that's that's breaking you down and and uh, making your day seem miserable and making you wake up and and um, you know not want to get out of bed. Um, today change that. Today go to God and say today is going to be a different day yesterday's in the past we don't dwell on the past today's a, a, a new day and today I'm gonna to walk on water and today when the storms get tough when the waves start to rise I'm not gonna focus on these things instead I'm gonna keep my focus on Christ and I'm gonna keep my focus on reaching out to him allowing him to pick me up embrace me and carry me and uh, and if he does that, you can walk on water as long as you want to. Uh, he'll carry you wherever it is you want to go. And believe me, when you start to do this, you'll see some amazing things happen in your life. So uh, focus. It's, it's all about focus. So today, focus on Jesus Christ. Focus on all that he is, um, who he is, what he's done for you, and um, not only you, but the all the world the the price we just celebrated Easter the price he paid on the cross and then overcame death when he walked out of that tomb 
every bit of that was for you. Every bit of that was to take on your sin so that you could approach him with an empty heart and approach him with an empty cup. And all he's, all he's wanting to do is overflow your cup with joy and, and love. And, uh, but you have to let him. You have to empty it first and, uh, and, and remove the fears and doubts and anxieties. And like Paul always talks about, you have to put them off. You have to put them off and then let the power of the Holy Spirit that lives inside of you renew who you are. And the whole, whole job of the Holy Spirit not only is to teach you truth, but is to take you and through that renewal is to make you more Christ-like. And uh, so if Christ can walk on water and you become more Christ-like, then guess what? You walk on water and no matter how big the storms get, uh, hurricane sized storms come and you just walk right along, focusing, keeping your eyes focused on nothing but Christ. And uh, it will be amazing to watch your days change and, and your attitude change and then see how contagious it is and see all the people around you uh, start to to uh, change as well. So, and, and if they don't, then, then uh, that's between them and the Lord. So, I uh, hope you have a wonderful day. Um, I encourage you to go and read Matthew chapter 14, starting around verse 25, 26, 27, right around there, you'll start reading about the story of cross crossing over the water and, and Peter getting called out onto the water and um, so read that and uh, pay attention to the, the the words fear and afraid and things like that and um, look at your own life evaluate yourself and uh, say what is it in my life that causes me fear and turn it over to God and uh, keep your focus on Jesus Christ today as you go and, and do what you do, school or work or the gym or grocery store or wherever it is you go. So uh, I, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, please know that I pray for every one of you. Um, you know, I may not reach out to you as, as much as I wish I could. Um, I stay pretty busy, <laughs> as you can imagine, but I do pray for every one of you constantly. Um, if I see your post on Facebook, uh, know that I'm praying for you. If you've got things that that you're hurting and uh, going through in your life, I'm praying that, that um, you'll get through these things. And uh, I thank you for all the prayers. Yeah, I've been battling this throat thing for a while. I thought I was over it yesterday. I did a wedding, um, which was a beautiful wedding, and it was such an honor to be a part of. And um, woke up this morning and feel like uh, I relapsed. So, uh, um, but you know what? Hey, that's uh, I turned it over to God. So uh, it's not going to change the way I live my life today. And and my purpose today is to make sure that everybody I come in contact with, I can show them Christ, not just through my words, but show them through my smile and and. Uh, my actions and and I'm gonna do my best to keep my eyes on Christ and um, let the storms around me just uh, just stay there stay around me but actually not affect me so love you have a wonderful day and um, I'll do another one of these real soon talk to you later bye bye